how scientists make groundbreaking discoveries? Could it be that the power of imagination plays a significant role in scientific advancements? Indeed, imagination is not just the fuel of artists and writers, it is a crucial aspect of human cognition, an indispensable tool in the realm of scientific discovery. When we think of imagination, we often picture whimsical fantasies and make-believe. But in the world of science, imagination serves as the bridge that connects the known to the unknown, the evident to the yet to be discovered. Let's take a journey through time and revisit the works of some of history's most renowned scientists. William Harvey, for instance, envisioned the circulation of blood within the human body, a concept that was unheard of in his time. His imaginative leap paved the way for a new understanding of human physiology. Similarly, Sir Isaac Newton, sitting under an apple tree, was struck by a simple question. Why did the apple fall straight down and not sideways or upwards? This imaginative curiosity led to the formulation of the law of gravity, a fundamental principle that shaped our understanding of the physical world. And then there was Albert Einstein. His theory of relativity, a cornerstone of modern physics, was born out of his bold imagination. He dared to visualize what it would be like to travel at the speed of light, a thought experiment that revolutionized our perception of time and space. These are but a few examples of how imagination has served as the catalyst for scientific innovation. It is the silent, often overlooked companion of logic and reason, sparking questions and breeding theories that push the boundaries of human knowledge. As we delve into the history of scientific discoveries, it is clear that the imagination has been a driving force behind many of the world's most incredible advancements. The power of imagination in science is not only about conjuring up novel ideas, but also about envisioning new ways to solve problems to understand the universe and to better the human condition. But how can we harness the power of imagination for scientific discovery? This question brings us to the pivotal point of nurturing our imagination. The process is not as elusive as it might sound. In fact, it's quite straightforward and can be achieved through a series of activities that we engage in daily. Take walking, for instance. When we walk, we allow our minds to wander. This wandering or daydreaming stimulates our imagination, leading us to form images, ideas and concepts that are not present to the senses. These could be the seeds of a new scientific theory, a groundbreaking discovery or a novel solution to a complex problem. Reading too plays a significant role in fostering imagination. When we read, we step into the shoes of different characters, explore unknown territories and grapple with abstract ideas. This mental flexibility and adaptability are crucial for scientific discovery. It allows us to see things from different perspectives, question the status quo and explore the uncharted realms of knowledge. Writing, on the other hand, helps us articulate our thoughts and ideas. It encourages us to construct coherent narratives out of our chaotic thoughts, thereby refining our imagination. This ability to articulate is key to scientific discovery. It enables us to communicate our ideas effectively, engage in meaningful discussions and contribute to the scientific community. Meditation in its own way can also stimulate imagination. By quieting the mind, meditation allows us to tap into our subconscious, where our deepest and most innovative ideas reside. It gives us the clarity and focus needed to sift through these ideas and bring them to the surface. Puzzle solving, too, can sharpen our imagination. It forces us to think outside the box, look at things from different angles, and find creative solutions to problems. These skills are invaluable in the realm of science, where problems are complex and solutions are not always apparent. Therefore, nurturing our imagination is not just about creativity, it is also about fostering scientific thinking and problem solving. But does imagination only play a role in scientific discovery, or can it also shape our reality? Let's delve into that thought. Imagination, as abstract as it may seem, has a tangible influence on our perception of the world around us. It's much more than a mere tool for ideation or a means to escape reality. It is a powerful force that molds our reality. Think about it. Every great invention in human history began as a spark of imagination. The telephone, the airplane, the internet. 
All were once figments of someone's imagination before they became reality. The human mind has this fascinating ability to visualize the non-existent, to dream of the impossible, and then to convert those dreams into tangible, real-world entities. But it's not just about creating physical objects or technological wonders. Our imagination shapes our reality in subtler ways too. For instance, our perception of time and space can be influenced by our imagination. When we imagine ourselves in different situations or places, we are essentially creating alternate realities in our minds. These imagined realities can then impact how we interpret and interact with our actual reality. This is particularly evident in the scientific field. Scientists often use their imagination to visualize complex concepts or phenomena that they cannot directly observe, like the structure of an atom or the curvature of space-time. By imagining these concepts, they can gain a deeper understanding and come up with new theories or predictions. Imagination also plays a crucial role in problem solving. When faced with a complex problem, our minds automatically start generating possible solutions, often coming up with innovative approaches that we wouldn't have considered otherwise. This ability to think outside the box, to imagine different possibilities, is what drives scientific discovery and technological advancement. So when we look at it this way, we see that our imagination is not just a tool for scientific discovery. It is an integral part of our reality, shaping our perception, influencing our actions and driving our progress. So our imagination does not just help us solve problems or make discoveries, it also shapes our understanding of the world. Imagination is a powerful force, and by harnessing it we can not only unlock new scientific insights but also create a reality that is as boundless and as diverse as our minds can conceive. What does the future hold for the role of imagination in science? As we venture forward, the role of imagination in science is set to evolve in fascinating ways. The advent of emerging technologies and interdisciplinary research is providing a fertile ground for the seeds of imagination to burgeon. Consider artificial intelligence, for example. It's not just about machines performing tasks. It's about machines learning, adapting, and perhaps even imagining. As AI continues to advance, it will undoubtedly serve as a powerful tool to augment our imaginative capabilities, enabling us to explore realms previously out of reach. Similarly, the rise of virtual and augmented reality technologies is reshaping the landscape of scientific discovery. These platforms offer immersive experiences that can catalyze our creative thinking, allowing us to visualize complex scientific concepts and scenarios in unprecedented ways. Interdisciplinary research is another key player. By bridging gaps between different fields of study, it fosters a rich cross-pollination of ideas, stimulating our imagination in novel and unexpected directions. Imagine the possibilities when a physicist collaborates with a biologist, or when a chemist teams up with an artist. The interplay of diverse perspectives can spark innovative solutions to complex scientific problems. And let us not forget about the role of education in nurturing the scientists of tomorrow. As the world becomes more interconnected, it's vital that we cultivate a learning environment that encourages curiosity, creativity, and yes, imagination. By doing so, we equip the next generation with the tools they need to tackle the scientific challenges of the future. So to answer the question, the future of imagination in science is bright. It's dynamic, it's transformative. It's a future where the boundaries of what's possible are constantly being redefined. As we look to the future, it is clear that the role of imagination in science will continue to be pivotal, driving new discoveries and advancements. As we have seen, imagination plays a vital role in scientific discovery. It's the silent partner to reason, the spark that lights the torch of innovation. It's been the driving force behind the groundbreaking work of scientists like William Harvey, Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. Nurturing imagination is crucial, not just for children, but for adults too. Activities like walking, reading, writing, meditation and puzzle solving can help to foster this vital cognitive function. It's about allowing ourselves the time and the space to think differently, to explore and to question. Imagination also has the power to shape our reality. 
It's not just about dreaming up new ideas, but about seeing the world from a different perspective. It's about looking at a problem and seeing not just the obstacle, but the opportunity. Looking to the future, the role of imagination in science is only set to grow. As we push the boundaries of what we know, it's our ability to imagine that will guide us, helping us to make sense of the unknown and to create new possibilities.